Hello and welcome back to what is going to be my biggest ever build for the channel. So it'll probably end up being quite a long one, so please be patient with that. But um, let's reveal what I have. I've just opened the box so you can hide my uh, address label. But this in this box is a cloned Lego set. I know that uh, there's bit of an awkwardness in getting hold of these at the moment but this is the new Lego 42172 McLaren P1 as a clone set um, so let's just see how this goes a total of 3893 pieces I've never built anything this big on the channel um, but let's get it all out of the box and see what we've got very tightly packed and it's a much more compact um, box than the original there was no option to get the original box here um, so lots of little bags in there good to see there are numbers on those so hopefully that does correspond to something when sorting these but lots of pins and everything there another big bag for there small bag yeah I have to make sense of what the coding all means on those. Next, big bag of parts there. Then we have the correct looking wheels. Tires haven't been put on those properly yet, but we shall sort that. But uh, yeah, they all look really good quality. Last but not least is the actual book. I can see the place at the bottom, so if anybody does open this in transit, then they can see uh, that it's obviously hiding that it is actually a clone set rather than just a bunch of random bricks. So I suppose this might be an explanation of some different pieces. Um, some swap outs and stuff like that. So yeah, you got suspension should be blue, but comes in black. But yeah, and just a very few stickers. So yeah, what are you thought so far? Book I I haven't seen the original book, but I would imagine this is a lot smaller. I think it's multiple books in the other one. But uh, yeah, what well, we got. 995 steps. This may take me a while. Right, well let's get some bricks sorted, make some sense of what is what. Hopefully the bags are numbered because I do not envy the thought of just having a huge stash of bricks and trying to locate the parts that I need. Um, yeah, this, this might... This might be a delay in this next video. <laughs> right, let's uh, clear the table, get them bricks sorted, and I will see you back for the build shortly. Thank you.
much if you stuck around for the whole length of that video. Uh, even with editing and with this at eight times speed, speed build, um, it, uh, it was one hell of a project and uh, it has, well, with work as well, this has taken me a total of eight days to put together, but obviously not continuously, only a few hours here and there per day. But uh, yeah, it is complete. And I must say, I absolutely love it. I think it's a great build. Yes, it's not genuine Lego, but you really wouldn't know the difference. There's a couple of flaws that I will go into um, in, a, in a sec, but just wanted to highlight some of the details of this build. So you know, the bonnet opens up, you've got to stay. That, that can hook into, difficult with one hand. Um, so you've got your engine, well, not your engine in there, but you've got luggage in the little boot space uh, as well. Let's fold that down. Suspension system's lovely. The wheels that replicate how they really look. They're brilliant, even the brake calipers in there. There's no printed parts on this set. It is all stickers. Um, I understand that uh, there is a couple of websites out there that have started doing clone sets of this with printed um, parts. Uh, this one I bought did have stickers, which wasn't a problem, but there was one sticker error, which I will run through in a little detail. Now, one great detail on, on this car is these doors. I mean, the action and the way they go up and hold in place is just brilliant. It really is. The mechanics behind getting how that and how to squeeze it all into a car this size it really is great. So the dash detail, again there are stickers on there. there. I think even the inside of the door has got uh, the yeah, little P1 sticker just on the door sill as well. which I haven't built the original, so I'm assuming all that comes on the original. I shouldn't think there'd be anything different. Um, one little thing that was quite tricky was this spoiler. Uh, follow the instructions. It didn't exactly go up as, as it should do. This is it in a fully up position. There's a wheel at the back where it goes down, which looks nice and neat. But when you retract it up, it just wants to get caught all the time. So it's you've got to persuade it up and help it up to fully extend. I'm sure there must be just a little tweak in there that that I've done wrong or something, but yeah, that's something I can sort out. I wouldn't wouldn't flaw the product on that. I'm sure that's just down to my building techniques and I've got some pin just slightly in the wrong hole or something like that. Great detail in the engine. Using these old style suspension struts is a great idea. Again, a couple of stickers on there with the McLaren and the P1. And the clamshell does come off at the back. However, the spoiler does get in the way, so you've got to attach the spoiler to be able to do that. It doesn't all come off without that. So I won't uh, do that at this stage. As for the manual, other than a Lego logo, <laughs> I couldn't fault it really. Um, really detailed i mean there's best part of what a thousand steps in here which i'm sure is just completely copying the original so there it was 1000 steps was the last step and 185 pages of the manual so that worked well Perf so much prefer getting manuals than um pdf instructions um yeah it didn't come in a box, wasn't even an option to have a box, but I'm sure in time there will be others. I picked this up as soon as I saw it become available as a clone with everything going on with um, a lot of the clone sets being taken off sale and, and being banned. Um, so a lot of people struggled to sell them. So I pulled it, snapped it up as soon as it became available and yeah, I probably paid a little over the odds, just paid about a hundred pounds for this. And they have dropped down to 80, including tax and delivery to here in the UK. So. Prices are going down and they probably will flatten down at about the £50 mark for the other 
collector series large cars that Lego do, which is just a great price for a set that's nearly got 4,000 parts, which is brilliant. So now I guess you want to know what the bad parts are in this build and what I thought of it. Well, first things first is these, if I just take my light away, that's really, really bright. Um, you don't think you can see it on this, but you can just see these black lines on the wings. It's only on the wing pieces, but there is markings actually on every one of the wings. Um, some worse than others. Probably will come off with a proper kitchen cleaner or something like that. So again, I'm not too, uh, you know, if it was actual scuff work or, you know, something that you couldn't just clean off. Yeah, just with the, the right uh, cleaner, that will clean right off. So that's one floor in the bricks. The only, only thing that was an error was this part here. Now, the final, final step of this was to make the plate with all the details of the car and that's the plate you get and this was the sticker sheet the sticker is about an inch wider well a centimeter taller two or three centimeters wider than the actual plate it goes on so again that's it it doesn't affect the car it is just a display option which I don't tend to use um, but yeah that's the only only flaw there were some spare pieces um, like you know literally dozens of pins and everything like that left but uh, yeah do I rate it yes it's a Lego design obviously now the fact is, if others can sell us for a hundred quid, please Lego, why can't you? It would stop the whole clone business if your pricing was so much more competitive. Well, hopefully you liked the video. And I shall see you on some future videos. I will be putting up some polls shortly to see what others uh, and give some options that you can have some control and choice as to what I build in the coming months and days. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'd like, like a bit more input from yourself so we can sort of get some cars built together. I have got a huge stockpile. Uh, I will do little shorts on some uh, sets I've got so you can get an idea of what things I could build in the future. So thanks very much for your support and I shall see you on the next video. Thanks ever so much. Bye bye.